said they're, the Cowboys are like a BBL. A BBL? They called the Dallas Cowboys a Brazilian butt lift. The disrespect. All right, YouTube and Cowboy Nation. Hopefully by now, y'all didn't hit that subscribe button. But we ain't wasting no time in this video. We're going to get right down to the meat and potatoes of this video. The disrespect for the Dallas Cowboys out here in these YouTube streets is real, man. Now, I know we deserve it. I know. Man, I seen us get Molly Watt versus the Saints. Man, I seen the Ravens come all up in our house, going in the refrigerator, making sandwiches, changing the channel on the TV while we watching it. Man, I know. I know. But the disrespect. Has somebody ever said something to you that was so disrespectful, that was that was so outrageous, but it was true? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. A BBL, the disrespect. Man, check this out. I said they're, the Cowboys are like a BBL, right? Okay. They're, they're the BBL of the NFL. Now, I'm going to stop that video right there because I want to make sure y'all heard him loud and clear. He said the Dallas Cowboys are the BBL of the NFL. And for those of you who don't know, a BBL is a Brazilian butt lift. Keep going, Ephraim. And for those who don't know, that's a Brazilian butt lift, right? Oh, all this money. You, okay. can, you can go spend all this money, right? Hey, Dak, you can pay CD Lamb, and you, you know, you're like, ooh, we, we did all of this. We built up this, this nice body and all of that. But when it comes to being real, like a real team and a real threat, you can spot the fake from the real. So if you're standing behind somebody in line and you look down and you see they got a whole wagon attached to their legs, you can say, oh, that's not real. That's a BBL. That's what the Dallas Cowboys are. They are the BBL of the NFL, right? That means they look good on paper. Yeah, you pan, you pay for it. But in reality, when you get close to it, when it comes down to it, it's all fake. It's all a facade. And those don't last long. And that's what we're seeing right now with the Dallas Cowboys. They didn't do anything to address the run game. They lost offensive linemen, didn't bring in running uh, a real running back. The whole Derrick Henry thing, we couldn't afford him. But why not? Why couldn't you have afforded him? Right? You didn't even try. And the fact that you wouldn't try, look at what Saquon's doing for, for Philly. Look at what, what uh, um, was going on in Baltimore. Look at these running backs. That let, uh, Jacob's. Uh, in Green Bay, like, look at what happened with those di uh, dynamic running backs that were on the market, and Dallas just decided, hey, we're not going to do that. Yeah, it is his fault, because mm. they're exactly where they're supposed to be based on his, deci his decisions. Well, I tell you what, we got less than a minute, Ephraim. I didn't expect a BBL conversation to come up in here. I thought I, you just heard every Instagram influencer's life. The whole bunch of feelings just got hurt with that one, Ephraim. Man, you're goddamn right somebody's feelings is hurt. My feelings is hurt. Man, I've never heard nobody use an analogy like that for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I done heard the Stephen A. Smith, the roaches, rats, and cowboy fans, the only thing left after a nuclear bomb. I heard those comments. I heard them. But a BBL? A BBL? A Brazilian butt lift when referring to the Dallas Cowboys. Man, that's just disrespectful. Has it come to that Cowboy Nation? Are we that low? Have you guys gave up on our team? Because I haven't. We got some stuff to clean up. We got some stuff to fix. But I feel like we still got time. Yeah, I know we lost to the Saints. Yeah, I know we got smacked by the Ravens. But we only three games in. We got the Giants coming up. We shouldn't overlook them. But that should be a get right game. Let's go down here. Smack the Giants up and work on some things while smacking them up and then worry about Pittsburgh. That's what I feel, Cowboy Nation. I'm going to ride it out with the squad, good or bad. Now, by now, I heard a lot of you, I know a lot of you guys done heard that CeeDee Lamb came out with apology to the media and for his team. And I really appreciate that because I did not like the, the actions he put on the field the other day. But he stood up for it, he took accountability for it, and we're going to move forward. We're going to listen to Michael Irvin address uh, CeeDee Lamb's apology, and we're going to come back and break it down. Check it out. <laughs> I've been talking about this. I've been talking about the importance of those that relationship. I love what he said right there. He took accountability. I, I, I told you guys, I, I felt he was frustrated in that game, and he mm -hmm. talked about it. And a lot of times, I'm going to tell you what, 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 why I'm so happy with this. I always talk about the Cowboys have the talent. They have the skill set. It's not about skill with them. It's about a collective will. That's why... 
they lose those playoff games. And, and a collective will can only be built a few ways. It can be built by spending time together on the football field, practicing while you're talking through your plans for the season together. We missed that opportunity because he held out of camp all, all, all camp. But it can also be born in the midst of a lot of pain that everybody's feeling. Mm -hmm. Because everybody starts feeling that pain and saying, man, this is not what we're supposed to be. This is not what we thought we would be. And then everybody starts listening. And I believe they're starting to listen. More importantly than anybody, listen to each other. You got to start talking with each other. You can't just step on a football field in the NFL and think you're going to beat these other guys who's been together for months now and only talking football, and you've not been together, and both, and everybody's talking money. So I'm glad to hear him say, man, we got to get this back on track. We have to <clears throat> this up. Now that was Dallas Cowboy, Hall of Famer, Michael Playmaker Irvin, Mr. Catch a BB in the Dark himself. Now I don't know what it is about Michael Irvin, but every time I'm feeling down on the Cowboys, I can listen to that man talk, and I feel better all of a sudden, because he know what it take he been to Super Bowls. He won Super Bowls. He's seen greatness. So why would I not listen to him? Why would I not? So let's take the positives out of the season so far. CeeDee Lamb wouldn't have training camp when the season started. So the offense might be out of sync a little bit. Get your money, CD. Y'all know how I feel about that. Get all your money. All of it. So him and Dak might not be on the same page right now. Mike Zimmer. Just came up off in here taking over the defense. He only done had three games. Maybe he'll get it together. Maybe we jump in the gun all of a sudden. Maybe that's what it is. Michael Parson and all these players, they, they in a new defense. Let, let's give them some time. Let's give them some grace. I'm just trying to take the positives out of it. Yeah, I know a lot of people going to call me delusional. But hell, I'm going to ride with my team whether they win or lose. So I'm going to try to take the positives, you know what I mean, and not so much think about the negatives. We know Jerry Jones going to be Jerry Jones. He already came out and... Jerry Jones always talking, so let's just put him to the side. Let's just put him to the side, and let's get this team together. They out here pointing fingers at each other. Let's stop all this finger pointing. Let's stop all that, and let's say take some positives from our team. Like I said, we got the Giants coming up. You know, Dak Prescott is like 12-0 against the Giants, I'm not mistaken. So let's go down there and smack them up, and not even worry about the media, because if we smack them up, we're not going to get no praise, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We lost to good teams, go down there and beat a bad team. We shouldn't get none. But then let's go down there and handle business against Pittsburgh. Because we know we got the 49ers coming up. Let's start getting our stuff together right now, Cowboy Nation. And let's leave all the negative stuff behind. That's what I feel like we should do. But until the next one, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Man, and jump in that comment section. Talk to me. I talk back. Peace.